Hi there, I'm Leo with Rincon Property Management and I'm the inspection coordinator here. Today I'm gonna to share a little bit about wear and tear on a property and damage to a property and some of the differences between the two, why it's important and why we need to talk about it. So essentially wear and tear is anything natural or gradual that deteriorates in a property. So this could be discoloration on the floor due to the normal patterns of walking through the property. It could be a scuff on the wall due to higher traffic at um, a light switch or an outlet. It could be appliances not functioning fully at 100% because someone has lived in the home for a few years. Really it's something that could happen when any person is living in the property that is naturally occurring. We do not deduct for wear and tear on security deposits. So after your tenant moves out, um, they will not be charged for anything that is naturally occurring. Sometimes the lines do get messy here with what is naturally occurring and damage, especially the longer they live there. But typically they are aware. Tenants are aware of what's damaged. They are aware of what's um, wear and tear. And we will charge and do our best to give a fair um, judgment on the evidence that we see at the property and that we've seen over the years that they're living there. So again, wear and tear is anything that's naturally occurring. Tenants are not charged for that. That is the responsibility of the landlord to pay for. So it is important to factor that in. If you know your tenant is moving out in a month or in three months, to have the mindset that you will have some repairs due to the wear and tear on the property. Damage is a bit more um, easy to diagnose. Damage could be a broken window due to a baseball bat, a large stain on the floor. It could be patches or holes left in the wall. Damage is anything that is not naturally occurring. Um, typically accidents, sometimes not, but it's anything that, it, that happens due to a specific act of the person in the home. It is not naturally occurring. And damage is the responsibility of the tenant. So when your tenant moves out, we do our inspection, we compare move-in photos to move-out photos, and we will deduct from their deposit for any damages that occur. Cleaning is also a part of damage because they're not returning it the way that they found it. So cleaning is a big one that we often charge tenants because we do expect our, our properties to come back um, cleaned at a professional level. All of that being said, it is important to outline the differences between wear and tear and damage because it is a huge factor into the move out process as the security deposit is returned. I hope this helps answer some questions and I hope that it gives you a little bit more context of what goes into a move out into um, the inspections and the security deposit return and gives you a little bit of clarity as to why you're either getting charged for damage or as the owner, why you're getting charged for items of wear and tear that are naturally occurring. Thanks so much and have a great rest of your day. Bye.